So it was a Monday through Friday thing. On Thursday, I go into the 10 o'clock rehearsal and Phil's hanging out by the drum set. And I talked to Phil Collins that week and, you know, he's very friendly, very down to earth guy. And Phil's by the drums at 10 in the morning, before 10, 10 to 10. And, and he's hanging out the drum kit. I'm like, okay, he's at the drums. This is wild. And I said, hey, Phil, how are you? And, go, and Phil says to me, he goes, Gary, guess what I did last night? I'm like, I don't know, Phil. What'd you do? He said, I went to Wicked. I was like, you <laughs> saw Wicked last night? It's like, I saw Wicked last night. I said, well, how did you like that? Thinking that he's going to say, it was okay. He was over the moon about it. He <laughs> loved it. He was in love with Adina. He loved the band. He said, you sounded incredible. I was like, well, man, Phil, really, thank, thank you. Um, but had I known you were there, <laughs> I probably had I known I were there, I probably would have choked or something. But, you know, um, he said, you really sounded great. It was so great to hear you in the theater. And I said, well, Phil, I'm amazed that you, I thank you for the compliment, but frankly, what I'm doing here in the room with you is so much more grooving and it's your music and uh, you know, I'm playing so much more stuff. And he said, no, man, I got to hear you hit the drums. I was like, yeah, but you're hearing me here. He's like, and this is really, I this is a really insightful thing that I'll never forget. He said, Gary, here you're playing on electronic pads, I have no idea what you sound like. And I was like, yeah, but I'm playing my heart out. He's like, no, 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 I, I have no idea how you sound on the drums. He wasn't impressed really with what I was doing, even though I was working so hard to impress him playing all that stuff, you know, in real time, drums and percussion. What he was impressed with was what, how the orchestra sounded and how the show landed and how it sounded in the house to him. Anyway, I was amazed. I was like, wow, he heard me play. Okay. Weeks go by, the 29-hour thing stops. And we're like, what's next for Tarzan? Well, the next thing I hear is that they're going to do another workshop, but they don't know who's going to play drums. And I'm like, oh, man, I'm in trouble. And, and, and at the same time, moving out, the Billy Joel show, remember that show? Yep. Right? Was playing at the Richard Rogers Theater. And the drummer, whose name I can never remember, who's Billy Joel's drummer now, Amazing drummer, Chuck Burgey. Yeah, Chuck yes, Burgey. yes. Chuck Burgey was playing drums, and Chuck Burgey was freaking out because Move It Out got its closing notice, and he loved having a Broadway show. And Chuck Burgey, he was like, we're closing? Well, what's coming in? Somebody said, well, it's actually Tarzan Phil Collins. Oh, Chuck Burgey no. had replaced Phil Collins on Brand X. So Chuck reputedly said, well, I'm going to call Phil and tell him I want the job. So not to pat myself on the back, but here's how this went down, and I'm not kidding you. Uh, so this workshop of Tarzan's plan, I hear Chuck wants a job. I'm like, well, that's it. I'm done. And, and Paul Bogey said, well, I don't know. It's not over yet. And Phil Collins told them, see, look, I never heard Chuck play in a theater. The only guy I've ever heard play in a theater that I know I love the way he plays in the theater and what he plays, what he brings to the show from a theatrical point of view, is, is, is Gary Seligson. I, I don't care who you put in the band, but I want that guy to play drums. Wow, that's great. Not, I kid you not, that's how it went down. Luckily yeah. for me, because I felt like my head, you know, I mean, I was really flattered and amazed, but at the same time, I knew that Chuck is a great <laughs> drummer, and I thought, oh, man, Chuck's going to fucking kill me. <laughs> but luckily, he got the gig with Billy Joel a few weeks after that, so he's been happy there ever since. So Wow. It, it went that's amazing. Anyway, so I left Wicked to do that because I, Phil Collins is my hero.